This course is brought to you by AppyPy as part of our Academy series. In this video, I want to talk about what to do after you've done your keyword research. Of course, after you've done your keyword research, you have to place those keywords in the title, description, and the keyword field if your app is an iPhone app. And, we'll, and I'll talk about that later in the course. Now, I want to just tell you about how the app stores decide which app should be first, which app should be 100. And they collect data, or what I call signals, about your app. And the signals that they, the data that they collect are the numbers of reviews, the quality of the reviews, the, the numbers of sessions that people have, the number of downloads. These are all quality signals. And then they also gauge how often people are opening your app, are the, when they're opening your app, are the session lengths shorter or longer than your competitors? Are people keeping the app or are they uninstalling the app? And these are metrics that aren't in a vacuum. They compare that to all the competitors in your keyword searches and they are able to determine hey, for a certain search, this app gets like really good engagement, so we should rank it higher. And also there is this little bit of a help they give you because some apps have been in the app stores maybe like eight years and you they have millions of downloads. How do you beat them? Of course it's difficult, but there is a recency factor and typically these algorithms measure the three, last three months of, the, in, of recent events and they, ha they consider them very heavily. So even if you don't have the millions of downloads that other apps collected over the years, you can collect maybe as long as in the last three months you are doing better than them, you'll start jumping over your competitors. And keep in mind, of course, some of the some of the data they collect are averages, like average session lengths. You, you don't have to have been in the App Store for years to have a good average session length. All you have to do is have a good usable app. So notice that a lot of these they're not external, they're actually internal in how your app is made. So keep that in mind and later in the course we'll go through each of these bullet points and I'll explain how to get the maximum advantage from each one so that you can use them to rank highly in the app stores.